What's up, you guys? <clears throat> my name is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers. And welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, Caps and Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess to Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I received a channel, another channel in Yen. I told you guys I was going to make separate videos, and I am, so. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, Oh, we're at 14,000 subscribers, so thanks so much for all the love and support, you guys. I really appreciate it. Um, if you think anyone else would like the channel, please feel free to share it very publicly on social media and word of mouth. It, help, it helps spread it around. And I have another channel called Hashtag Leo Gang. For, it's a tarot card reading channel as well, uh, just like this, except Leo aspected. But it, <clears throat> And cross watchers are welcome as well if anybody's interested in that channel, okay? All right, so the um, the channeling, uh, this is a, a very beautiful one. A very, very, very beautiful one. So, um, I'm just saying. So, I heard um, a, a, a very spiritual parent, I heard, that has heavy spiritual gifts, has been intentionally separated from um, from one, from one child, from one, two, and, or, and two, and two plus children. But through many series of chain of events um, about to be created in the universe soon, um, some of these people are about to, um, I heard, about to get full custody back, and some are about to be allowed to see their children. They have no rights right now. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. That is so powerful and so strong um, and so sad. And so sad. Um, and... I, I feel like I kind of lump in some of that um, in a way because I have spirit, heavy spiritual gifts and y'all know um, um, I, I, I do still have rights. I have um, visitation rights. I don't, you know, I'm not one of the ones that has no rights, but I have, uh, I have visitation. I did have full rights, um, but um, my ex-husband has full rights right now. Um, so I lump into one of those. Um, but one of you guys has no rights right now. For one, it's regarding one child. You're a spiritual parent. So you have heavy spiritual gifts. So clear audience, clear voice, clear sentience, psychic medium abilities, the smell ability, um, dreamscape, whatever ability or abilities you have. Now, usually, you know, those are clairs for anybody that doesn't know. So with the clair abilities like those, and we're not talking about mental health issues, like true mental health issues. These are clairs. These are true spiritual abilities. Um, like I can go out in public and interact with people just fine and my spiritual gifts do not affect me in public. When I first gained them, I thought they would because I did not understand because um, I never had them before, if that makes sense. So I was worried, like I had a full-time job and all that. I was worried that it was going to affect me, but it, it doesn't affect me. It doesn't. I can turn them on, turn them off. Um channel in when I want to. I mean, it's really beautiful. It's beautiful. But what you don't know can scare you. And that scared the hell out of me. Because as being a nurse for as long as I have been since 2013, I automatically thought, well, God, I, I might have mental health issues. But but I didn't. I realized down the line I didn't. Like, <clears throat> for example, I'm looking at my wall right now. Do I ever see spiders coming out of my wall or a hand coming out of my wall? Or something that's not there ever on my wall. No. And that goes for anywhere in my house or anywhere in the world. Do I ever hear someone in the other room saying, hey, Mary, come here. And they're not really there. No. So, I mean, you know, it's like that is what I'm saying. There's a, there's a huge difference. And being spiritually gifted for two years now, I know there's a huge difference. And I know how to turn it on and turn it off. And it does not affect me when I go out in the regular everyday world because I can interact with people just fine talk to people just fine converse with them and what have you what have you just fine because I can turn my spiritual gifts on and off people with mental health issues like true um um 
auditory or visual hallucinations, um, it affects them and they cannot control it. And a lot of those people is like drug induced. And see, and that's a huge difference between me and others is I don't do drugs. So, um, and I don't have a history of it. So, you know, so, but it, but everybody's different is what I'm saying, but whoever you are, you are a spiritual being. Um, you really do have true spiritual gifts. Like I do true spiritual gifts. I, I feel the players. You can be a masculine or feminine man or woman. Um, for some, you have lost custody of some of one child for some of two children, for some of two or two plus children. Um, I feel it might've been a spiritual attack because whoever was involved with the, that, I think they might've known you were a chosen one. Um, and you had spiritual gifts. And they wanted to punish you because you were chosen, is what I feel. Uh, most, for some of these cases, most certainly wanted to to punish you. But it's a, it's about to seriously backfire in a huge way. Wanted to most certainly punish you, um, but it's about to seriously backfire in a huge way. Yeah, I feel for some of you guys, you were chosen ones. And I'm just being for real. I didn't specifically hear chosen ones, but I mean, obviously, you were your chosen ones. Part of the 144,000. But people get scared of chosen ones. The true gifted chosen ones, they get scared of them because they aren't like you. And so they like to attack what they aren't familiar with, what they don't know, what they aren't, if that makes sense. Trust me, I know it because I've been attacked in my own community. Um, and people know I'm a chosen one. Um, I don't say, I'm not saying physically attacked. I haven't been physically attacked, but you know, um, like employment, you know, I've been wrongfully terminated four times, but I'm over that shit. It is what it is. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But my point is, is <clears throat> for some of you guys, it was because your spiritual gifts, you really are part of the 144,000. You really are a chosen one. And besides people embracing the fact in your community that you are rare, you are a true diamond in the rough and a true hidden gem and a true value to the world and the universe, they wanted to attack you, basically. Um, but I heard it's about to seriously backfire on them. So for some, you have no rights right now, no parental rights. For some, you have um, visitation rights, or it could be the 50-50 split custody rights. Um, but through many series of chain events, I heard for some, you're going to gain rights back, and for some, you're going to gain full custody back. So congratulations to whoever that's for and however that resonates and applies, truly. Um, I have been there and um, it's not fun. It's really not fun. Um, and I understand how it feels being attacked as a chosen one, not physically attacked, but socially attacked in your community as a, as a chosen one. <clears throat> I understand that. So kudos to whoever this is for. And I'm serious, okay? Let's see. Let's pull a couple couple kipper and then I'm gonna close it, okay? Spirit, okay. The lovers. For one of you, very high in the spiritual realm, you have two children. You will gain full custody back, and the children will be able to um manifest your gifts that both of them are gifted one is very 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 highly gifted they will be able to learn from you wow this this is great so for one of you specifically uh there's several of you guys in here so you have to plug it in how it resonates one of you guys has one child one you have two one you have uh two plus but one of you has two kids <clears throat> And um, you could have no rights to them right now, 50-50 custody rights of them right now, or visitation. How that resonates and applies. But there has been a custody switch there in the past, um, for sure. And you are gifted, for sure, man or woman, spiritual gifts. I heard um, you have two kids. You're about to get the two kids back full time, full custody. Um, and one of them, they're both gifted. Both of them are gifted. Both of your kids. It could be a, a, ma um, a masculine or femme child. Or it could be two masculines, two femmes, or masculine and feminine children. There's two children here. So you plug it in how it resonates if this resonates for you. But both of these children are both highly gifted. I mean, they're both gifted. One is very, very, very highly gifted. 
And I heard both of them will be able to learn from you once you get full custody of them back. They'll be able to learn from you and they will be able to manifest their gifts, their spiritual gifts, um, and their talents and their skills and their abilities. Um, wow, man. I'm feeling psychic. I'm feeling psychic vibes here. I didn't hear a psychic, but I feel psychic vibes here. And I'm just serious. Like ESP, like serious telepathic waves. And I'm serious. Spirit messages you have like this. I didn't hear that, but that's what I'm feeling. And I want to tell y'all this while I'm shuffling out. <clears throat> I heard keep it. We have wealthy man upright, lovers upright. Um, I was uploading that video last night. Um, the one last night about midnight when I was in my silk um, robe. And, and I wasn't planning on doing it, but I got the channeling in. Well, while it was uploading... I was, um, there was another video, sometimes videos pop up when, when you're, when I'm uploading. I don't know how it works for other readers or other people, um, content creators, but when I'm uploading on mine, other, just randomly other videos pop up. So sometimes I watch them, but when it goes on the ad break, the ad break popped up and I usually always click off the ad break because it's annoying, but I didn't off this one because it was talking about, um, a story of a guy and he wrote a book and I wish I, I wish I would have written down the book name I want to go buy this book but um he was an ele elect electrician or a, some kind of repairman but it had to do with electricity um radio he was a radio repairman he was a radio repairman and he had like um eight children or ten children or something they were all struggling in school basically long story short he um, um, he started um, using hypnosis and ESP um, to create subliminal messages and subliminal positive um, communication to his children um, in a positive way. You know, not like mind control, manipulation, not like uh, in paid old crap, but positive. Um, positive vibes, positive ESP, positive telepathic communication. His kids' grades started improving. They started developing ESP communication. He he gave an example in there that he was asking a question to his child once the, one of the children started developing it really strong. He was asking a, a question to his child, but he had not got it out of his mouth yet. He was just thinking the question. She answered it. She answered it. He had not got it out of his mouth yet. He was thinking it in his head. Like channel messages. Like our channel messages. The true spiritually gifted ones. It's not, you know, we we channel it out and speak it out. But we don't, we don't have to. You see what I'm saying? Like we get on here to share it with you guys. Um... But that was kind of the same thing. He was thinking it in his head, a question to ask her. He had not got it out of his mouth yet. She answered it. She was telepathically communicating with him, is what I'm trying to say. And so she answered it out. She was in the state of sleep, though, of REM, when that happened. So interesting. I really, I, I hope this, um, his, um, Ad comes across uh, a YouTube channel of mine again, or a YouTube video, or what have you, what have you, again, so I can write the book name down. I should have done it last night. I didn't. I would love to get his book. He wrote a book about it, everything. All his kids became very successful. All of them did. But he worked really hard to develop their ESP abilities, telepathic abilities. Um, his kids are extremely successful now. But when he started all this, they were suffering in school, suffering in school. I mean, and there was external factors going on there um, and all that. But once he started that, it it created a positive snowball effect. And it was really beautiful. It was beautiful. I mean, I'm serious. I wish I could remember this guy's name. If I come across it again, I'll let you guys know if anybody wants to get the book. Okay? So if lovers upright and wealthy men upright, I heard stop when I got wealthy men on the bottom of the deck. Number uh, 13 or 15 can be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 13 or 15. 
someone is very much in love with a, a spiritualist, light side spiritualist, fem light side spiritualist. This is not obsession. This is not obsession. This is um, not unhealthy, low vibrational energy. Truly in love with this person. It's a masculine energy in love with a feminine energy. Feminine light side spiritualist. Wow. Holy crap. Okay. So we have a um, light side masculine energy. And I feel he's wealthy. I didn't hear he was, but I feel he is. He's pulled up as a wealthy man. Um, I heard he's truly in love with a feminine um, light side spiritualist. So um, I feel one of a chosen one. I feel one of these people. I feel one of you guys, whether you have no rights to your child or children right now, you have 50-50 rights to your child or children right now, or you have uh, visitation rights to your child or children right now, like I do. <clears throat> However that resonates and applies, okay? But he truly is in love with you. I heard no obsession, no... Um, no creepy vibes, no, um, um, nothing unhealthy or toxic, meaning he doesn't want to control you with money. I do feel he's wealthy. I didn't hear he was. I don't think he wants to control you or domineer you or abuse you or exploit you. Um, I don't think he wants to control you with money. Yes, I do feel he's wealthy. I didn't hear he was, but I don't think he wants to control you with money. Um, I just feel the money might be a bonus there. Um, he definitely does not want to control you. Not with money, not with anything. He definitely does not want to control you, not with money, not with anything. So he definitely does not want to control you, not with money, not with anything. Whoever you are, ma'am, I didn't hear a sign on you, but you are one of these people. Whether you have no rights to your child or children right, right now, whether you have 50-50 rights to your child or children right now, or whether you have um, um, visitation rights to your child or children right now, like I do. However that resonates, okay? But I heard he does not want to control you or domineer you, not with money, not with anything. So I feel he wants to do equal give and take there. I heard he truly is in love with you. So, you know, love is different than lust. I don't feel he's immature. Um, I don't. I don't feel he's immature. I don't feel he is. Let's see if we hear anything else. I'll see what was on the bottom. We have family room. And then we have lovers. And then uh, message of concern reversed. And poverty reversed. Yeah, holy crap. Hold on, let me show you. Wow. I do feel he is um, light side. I do. He doesn't want to control you. He doesn't want to domineer you. He does, um, <clears throat> But he really is in love with you. This is not about money, power, control, sex, drugs, none of that crap. This seems very healthy here. Maybe he's gonna help. Maybe he's gonna help create the series of chain events to help you get your um, child or children back, so your children can learn from you and um, grow and manifest with you in a positive way. Light side spiritualist. Uh, maybe he's gonna pay it forward to you. I don't feel you're in a relationship with this person, whoever this is, or at least not yet. And I don't feel he's told told you how he felt. He has not told you how he's felt. He has not told you how he's felt. But he will be very significant in creating a series of chain events to help you get your kids back. So he has not told you how he's felt, but he's about to be very significant in creating a series of chain events to help you get your kids back. So he hasn't told you how he's felt. So you don't know because he hasn't. Well, for some, you could be highly intuitive and you probably, you probably do know. Um, Nonverbal. Um, maybe the way he, if he's interacted with you in the 3D, maybe the way he's conversated with you or, um, or acts around you or something like that, possibly for some, for some, um, you might not have met him. Maybe he's a long distance person, but what I'm trying to say is sometimes you can pick up on how people feel without them telling you. Um, and that's just the truth. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit, but. I heard he hasn't verbally told you. So he hasn't verbally told you how he's felt, how he feels. But for one, he's going to be very significant in helping you get your kids back. So lovers upright, he's a wealthy man upright. Um, whoever this is, I don't feel you've had any sexual connection to him or, or anything like that. Um, but he does care about you and your kids in this situation. Um, 
He most certainly does. He's about to step it up in a huge way. He most certainly does. He's about to step it up in a huge way. So he most certainly does care, and he's about to step it up in a huge way. Well, that's really beautiful. So um, whoever you are, ma'am, you currently don't. Um, there has already been a custody change here already in the universe, if this resonates for you. Um, whether you have no rights, whether you have full right, um, I'm sorry, no rights, 50-50 rights, or um, um, visitation. And I and whoever you are, I, I I feel this was an injustice here. I don't feel you should have gotten your kids taken away, if this makes sense. Um, and that's what I feel because some people should get their kids taken away. They really are abusing them. They really are neglecting them. They really are, um, um, doing things that should have their kids taken away, and that's just the truth. Serious attack on a chosen one. It's about to backfire. Serious attack on a chosen one. It's about to seriously backfire. So it's, um, there's been some kind of serious attack on a chosen one, and it's about to seriously backfire. Well, kudos to you, whoever you are, ma'am. I didn't hear signs on you. So you plug it in how it resonates. All right. Well, I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. And namaste.